What motivated me to join this program was the magnitude of the challenges. Challenges that were far-ranging, technical, technological, and organizational. The A350 is the first plane to use composites so extensively. More than 50% of the plane is made of carbon composites. We needed to ramp up production very quickly, following a very short development cycle for a project of this size, which involved dozens and dozens of partners around the world. We had to develop new methods, which were radically different from those used on the A380. For example, using the 3D Experience platform, manufacturing, engineering and engineering can now collaborate on the same digital mock-up, which includes all the required elements for manufacturing. For the A350 and for management of the digital mock-up and the design, we used Dassault System solutions. The Dassault System solutions we used include Katia for the structure, system installation, composites, electricity and tubing. Eliminating 2D drawings enabled us to cut 50% of the time needed to update the electrical installation plans. VPM Inovia was the unified data reference for all of our designers. Without VPM Inovia, partners needed several days to exchange information. With VPM Inovia, data is synchronized in only a few minutes. Daily, 4,000 people around the world use these tools and 85% of them are outside of Airbus. Delmia was used to prepare manufacturing activities. And Simulia for realistic nonlinear stress analysis on the wings. Thanks to the 3D Experience platform, we were able to drive the transformation of our processes. For this program, the partnership between Airbus and Dassault System was critical. We had to scale the tools to support this program. We had to become more efficient and to develop new functionalities. The link between the Dassault system and Airbus teams was very strong. The collaborative aspect was, indeed, an essential part of the program. One of the most significant outcomes was the exceptional quality of the A350 design, with very little change requests from the manufacturing to the engineering. The A350's maiden flight was a total success with an exceptional level of maturity. Now our objectives are to accelerate production ramp-up, to deliver the 700 planes already on the Airbus order books and to have more. When we develop the next version, the 1000, the digital mock-up will prove to be an extraordinary asset because it will enable us to accelerate development of the new plane. I believe that we are just beginning to benefit from all the advantages presented by this digital mock-up.